Hi, uh, welcome to what, what Realtors Don't Tell You. Today we're going to uh, share with you a little more on what boundary surveys are and, and the importance of a boundary survey in purchasing uh, a lot or a, a home. One of the questions that uh, you have the right to ask before you purchase or before you buy a home or a lot is, has there been a boundary survey completed? Uh, with that question, of course, the realtor and the, the buyer, the seller, would would need to answer yes, there has been a survey, or no, there is not. And then there can be a discussion for further on as far as uh, is it important to have one, and, and how much uh, do they really cost. Hopefully, uh, some of the things which we will tell you will answer those questions. A, a boundary survey, as you can see here, uh, shows the boundary of the the parcel that you, that you've purchased, and and that in this uh, example is shown by the yellow the yellow line. Now that is the boundary, and and that is what you're purchasing. This tells you the the area, the location, and and some of the things. Again, the uh, the boundary is is being shown by the yellow line. And, and this depicts uh, a little bit of, of what's happening. I'm going to come here and scale in a little bit, uh, and then I'll be able to pan and, and give a little description of, of what's going on. Before I do that, I'd like to just come over here, and this shows a vicinity map is what this is called. Of course, it shows you the property in relationship to a variety of roads, Higby Road, South Bay Road, etc. But this is a topography map, and this will talk on a later segment. But as you can see, the property drops uh, from Higby Road into South Bay part of the Big Moose Lake. This r ground, of course, uh, being that it's very long and large, uh, is not going to be a, a real uh, problem. Uh, but if it was a, a small lot and it dropped that quickly, of course, we'll talk later on how that could be uh, costly in, in placing a home in, in that type of a scale. But coming back here, I just want to give some highlights on a boundary survey. As you've noticed and as we've talked about, the yellow lines represent the, the boundary. The bearings and the distances represent uh, what you can anticipate. This line here, they or this point here, uh, they found a 2-inch uh, angle iron, and you travel 112 feet or 100.12 feet here to a second angle iron, and you'd be able to pull a tape and get very close to uh, to that distance. Uh, again, you can visibly see what's on these corners, and that would be one of the questions in addition that I would ask is, are there corners uh, placed on uh, each of the areas so you can visibly see uh, your property before you purchased? You can see here that this ground is 3.156 acres, uh, so it's a fairly large piece. Uh, you, it tells us uh, who it is owned by, located, uh, you know, in the county recorder at a different location where you could get that material. Be aware that an acre, one acre, equals 43,560 square feet. Uh, as you can see here, the area is 137,491 square feet. Take that number, divide it by 43,560, you get your acreage. Going a little further up, you can see that there's the home, it has a deck, and there's no problems particularly with the structure in regards to the boundary. Uh, we have plenty of room here, 42 feet, 27, 23 here. Uh, a home next door is fairly close. A, a one-story uh, framing uh, framed home, but it does not encroach and, and does not have or show any problems uh, on the property that we have purchased. You can see here is a gravel driveway. Also, you can see that this road, uh, South Bay Road, goes through your property, and that would be a right-of-way, uh, as it's depicted here, of 50 feet that goes through your property that you would not be able to shut off. That would be part of your title report, part of your exceptions in your title report that that road is there and, and will be permitted to stay. It tells you what they're locating on each of the corners as well as, of course, it ties back into Higby Road where it uh, gives you your POB, which is the point of beginning. 
One note here, I find this very interesting, is of course this is a, a north arrow. So north, it shows you which way north is. That north that they have chosen to use on this plat is, is basically an assumed bearing. They're showing it an astronomical north uh, from solar observations. And then they give you a 14 bearing difference to magnetic north that if you were out to take a compass, you would be able to uh, show magnetic north through that compass. So there are differences in, in north, and, and that becomes uh, not very important uh, to, to most people. But for surveyors and engineers, that, that is, is needed to, to at least uh, be aware of. Here it gives you some additional notes about the property and and whatnot. Uh, again, this is just an example of a boundary survey. Uh, again, answering the question, what do boundary surveys uh, show you? Uh, we've kind of gone through a few of those things. It would show any overlaps, any underlaps in your deeds, uh, as well as it would show any conflict uh, with improvements. Now, one of the major conflicts that a survey does disclose is the fence lines versus the the deed lines uh, let me give an example of that the fence line is the actual improvements uh, uh, a boundary that uh, that people accept or feel that that's their property and the deed line is is this line depicted in the yellow which describes your your property uh, that's one of the most common uh, differences uh, that we have found in in surveying that uh, those two may be a, a little different, but a survey would depict that, and, and you would know what that is uh, before you purchase the ground if a survey is, has been completed. Now, if a survey has not been completed, then you certainly have the right as, as part of your due diligence to request a survey. A survey uh, could range anywhere between uh, 700 to uh, $3,000 depending upon how large and, and where the, the property is located. In most cases where there is a subdivision and you've purchased all of lot four of, of a, a certain subdivision, those mean, uh, or that tells you by that, that very question, it tells you that that has been surveyed once before and uh, has been subdivided and uh, there should be some control that uh, the surveyor could give you a reasonably quick turnaround as well as a break in cost because of, of that. Uh, who is to pay for it? You know, that's again negotiated in your contract. Sometimes I have seen where both people pay for it, both the seller and the buyer, but uh, again that's determined by, by your uh, real estate contract. A, a survey is, is, in my opinion, very important. Obviously, we, we are land surveyors, and, and we highly recommend surveys to, to know where your boundaries are. Let me uh, share an example uh, of, of one of the situations that we have ran into. A buyer was selling a piece of ground where they thought that they had approximately 14 and a half acres to sell. And uh, they determined with the, the seller that they were going to sell the ground uh, based upon a price per acreage. And so they determined uh, the, the acreage the best they could, times it by the factor or the, the cost per acre factor that they determined, and, and sold the property. Later, uh, a few few months later, the, the buyers approached us and says, we really want to know what we bought. We, we want to know if we got more or less uh, the, the amount. Again, it, it's after the fact, and, and uh, at this point, it is what it is, and, and there's no changing it. And so we, we did survey it and determined that the, the acreage in this case was actually uh, an acre and a half larger so it was about 16 acres and so the the buyers got an acre and a half basically for for nothing uh, because a survey wasn't done by the by the sellers uh, in this case that equaled approximately seventy thousand dollars that the uh, the seller lost because they did not pay for a uh, fifteen hundred dollar survey so again, uh, very important, especially when you're buying ground to know the boundaries. Uh, a, a boundary survey is going to tell you that. It's going to tell you the things that I have depicted here, and, and certainly, in our opinion, very important. 
uh, again, we appreciate you purchasing what realtors don't tell you.com and the material. We hope you find success in your uh, real estate adventures as well as in your dream home and, and different things that you are purchasing the ground for. We again appreciate it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us on the, uh, the email provided on the website. Thank you and have a good day.